Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're talking about the 2024 microeconomics exam. This is question number three from set two. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit two. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. For this question, we are provided with a graph. This is a graph for backpacks in a perfectly competitive market with no externalities. First thing we have to do is calculate the economic surplus at equilibrium within this market and show our work. Remember, economic surplus in this case will be producer surplus plus consumer surplus. At the market's equilibrium price of $90 all the way up to the demand curve is our consumer surplus. Below to the supply curve is our producer surplus. Calculate the area of the overall triangle base times height times a half, and that will be our economic surplus. Our base is 16 units. Our height is from $30 up to $150. Plug in the numbers and do the math. 16 times 150 minus 30 times one half equals $960 worth of economic surplus in this market at equilibrium. And if you have that math, you get your first point. For part D, we are told that the government puts a price ceiling on backpacks, and that price ceiling is at $60. Compared to the market equilibrium, we are told if the quantity of backpacks purchased will increase, decrease, or not change, and we have to explain. Remember, our market equilibrium quantity is 16 backpacks. If we put in that price ceiling at $60, we can see that the quantity supplied will be 8 backpacks, and the quantity demanded will be 24 backpacks but it will be the lower quantity that is bought and sold. So the quantity exchange will be eight units. That leads us to our answer here, decrease, because the price ceiling will decrease the quantity supplied from 16 to eight, and consumers cannot buy more than producers are willing to make. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your second point. For part C, we are told there's a $30 subsidy provided to the sellers of this product. Based on that subsidy, we are going to identify the price paid by consumers as a result of the subsidy. Remember that a subsidy provided to the producers is going to shift the supply curve, the vertical distance of the subsidy. There's a $30 distance right there. I'm going to draw in a new supply curve minus the subsidy, and it's the new intersection of the supply minus the subsidy and the demand curve where we find the new equilibrium price and quantity. For this question, we're going to identify the price of $75. And if you have that, you get your next point. For part C, double I, we have to calculate the total cost of the subsidy to the government, and we have to show our work. Remember the total expenditure of the subsidy is going to be the subsidy times the quantity. The subsidy is $30 and the quantity is 20. On the graph, you can also find the amount spent by the government in that rectangle right there. Plug in the numbers and calculate the area of it and you get 20 times 30 equals $600. And if you have that math, you get your next point. For part C, triple I, we are asked if the subsidy causes dead weight loss to increase, decrease, or remain the same compared to the market equilibrium. And we have to explain. Remember, since there are no externalities, there is no dead weight loss at the market equilibrium. But with the subsidy, the market is going to overproduce. And that means we're going to have that triangle of dead weight loss. It points to the equilibrium quantity where there was none. So that leads us to our answer here, increase, because the market is now producing more than the allocatively efficient quantity. 20 units is greater than 16 units. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your next point. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2024 microeconomics exam, question number three from set two. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up your total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.